Hello everybody, my name is Sorofile and <clears throat> I will be teaching you environmental studies for class 3. Now everybody take out your Wonder World environmental studies textbooks and turn with me to page 30 and we will be continuing with part C of animals and insects. Right? That's uh, lesson number 4, animals and insects. Now, today we'll be, we will be learning about uh, creepy crawlies. Cre what are creepy crawlies? Basically, your insects and worms, beetles and spiders, flies and jumpers, and other social insects, right? So you must have seen many different insects around. Now, <clears throat> today we will be learning about them. There are some very small animals which can creep, crawl, slide, jump, and fly. They are insects, worms, beetles, spiders, and grasshoppers. How can we tell the difference between these? Right? So we will be learning about the difference between different insects. Now, insects and worms. Most insects have six legs and two pairs of wings. How many legs? Six legs and two pairs of wings. They do not have backbones and their bodies have hard covers. They feel and smell with feelers. A cockroach is an insect. The body of an insect is divided into three parts. The head, the thorax, and abdomen. Remember the words? The three parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Right? Thorax, T-H-O-R-A-X, abdomen, A-B-D-O-M-E-N. Right? So, that is an insect. It has six wings, two pairs of wings, uh, six legs, sorry, two pairs of wings. They do not have backbones. Their bodies have hard covers. They feel and smell with feelers and <clears throat> the body of an insect is divided into three parts, head, thorax and abdomen. The earthworm has a long soft body divided into many segments. Each segment has a pair of legs that helps it to walk or swim. Now have you ever seen an earthworm? Yes. It's on the ground, it creeps and crawls, right? Now, some insects, like a butterfly, look like worms. Insects. Let us find out how a butterfly is born. Now, a butterfly starts its life as an egg, right? How does it start? With an egg. A worm-like creature called the caterpillar hatches out of the egg. It keeps eating leaves and growing fat, right? Then it forms a bag around itself called a cocoon, C-O-C-O-O-N, and it goes to sleep. After some time, the cocoon breaks open and a beautiful butterfly comes out. So let us look at the life cycle. The worm-like creature called a caterpillar, and then the cap caterpillar eats leaves and it grows fat and then the caterpillar forms a bag around itself called a cocoon and it goes to sleep after some time the cocoon breaks open and a beautiful butterfly comes out L look at the diagram next to you and uh, <clears throat> to the right right you can see the life cycle of a butterfly now beetles and spiders some beetles are brown and black in color the front wings of a beetle change into a hard shell to protect the black wings. Fireflies and glowworms that give out light in the dark are beetles. Ladybirds are also beetles. They are the farmer's friends because they eat aphids. Look at the word aphid, A-P-H-I-D-S. So what are aphids? Aphids are small creatures that destroy crops. Now they are called farmer's friends because they 
eat them. Birds do not eat ladybirds because they are bitter. Now on to the next page. Now, <clears throat> spiders have eight legs. They spin webs with silk that they produce. They do not fly but sail through the air at the ends of the silk threads they make. Why does, question, why does a spider spin a web? Do you know? Have you ever seen a, seen a spider? Yes, they spin webs, right? You must have seen cobwebs. So why do spiders spin webs? Let me ask you, and uh, you can ask mommy or daddy, why do spiders spin webs? Now, flyers and jumpers. Butterflies, moths, and dragonflies are flying insects. Dragonflies can catch and eat other insects in midair by stretching their thin legs. Though moths look like butterflies, they are very different. We see butterflies in the daytime and moths at night. While moths have thicker bodies, butterflies are thinner. Butterfly? Can you tell the difference? That's right, moths are a little bigger and they have uh, straighter wings, right? Uh, butterflies are colorful, moths are a little less colorful and uh, they are more dull. Now, grass, grasshoppers and crickets are jumpers. Both make a chirping sound by rubbing their hind legs against their wings. They are part of the same family, but crickets come out at night while grasshoppers are seen in the daytime. Have you ever seen a cricket or a grasshopper? They make a chirping noise, chip, 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 at night, right? <coughs> If you've heard uh, crickets at night, yes, that's what uh, crickets so sound like. Or you can see, you can ch uh, check out in Google, you can search in Google what crickets sound like. Now, social insects. Bees, wasps and ants that live in colonies are called social insects. Ants live in nests. only one who lays eggs. Ants work very hard all summer to store food for the winters. And ants find food. They hurry back to the nest. While going back, they leave a trail of scent by pressing their body to the ground. The other ants find the food by following this scent. Now, have you ever seen ants before? Yes, bees and wasps and ants live in colonies. They live, that means they live together. And they are called social insects. Now ants live in this. And ants have a queen, which is who is very important because the queen is the only one who can lay eggs. The other ants do not lay eggs. The other worker ants, they work very hard and they find food and they store food for the winter. Right? So, you must have seen ants uh, around, around your house or wherever you go. Wherever you see food lying around, if it's the if the food, then you'll see an army of worker ants trying to take the food, right? So what are they doing? They are they work very hard all summer to store food for the winter, right? <clears throat> now the honeybee makes honey from the pollen of flowers and lives in hives. Wasps eat food. Eat, sorry, eat wood and make paper like hives using their saliva and a wood paper. See eggs in these hives. Now, have you ever seen honeybees? Yes, honeybees have uh, hives. Right? Have you ever seen a honeybee hive? Yes, the honeybee hive is made from uh, uh, their saliva and wood. Right? They are, it's like it's almost like paper, and they lay eggs in these hives. And the honeybees, what do they make? They make honey. And the honey is made from the pollen of flowers. Right? Have you ever seen a honeybee? Yes. <clears throat> they make honey from the pollen of flowers. They live in a honey bee hive, which is made from uh, their saliva and wood, wood paste. And they lay eggs in these hives. Now, common insects, flies, cockroaches, and mosquitoes are insects that are harmful. 
House flies carry dirt and germs. Yes, you should always cover your food, otherwise house flies will uh, they will sit on your food and they will spread disease and germs. If we look at a fly through a magnifying glass, we, we will see that its legs are covered with dirt that it picks up when it sits on garbage or dung. So if the fly sits on our food, it will leave all this dirt behind. Eating such food can make us sick. Sitting on your food, don't eat it. It will make you sick. Never eat food that is covered with flies or protect your food from flies. Cockroaches move in and out of drains and also carry a lot of dirt. So we must keep our food covered to protect it from cockroaches, right? Have you ever seen a cockroach? Have you ever seen mummy or daddy catching and killing cockroaches? Yes, they can also move in and out of drains. <clears throat> and they also carry a lot of dirt. Mosquitoes breed in standing water and swamps. Mosquito bites can cause many harmful diseases such as malaria and dengue. Right? Look at the words malaria and dengue. M-A-L-A-R-I-A -A -A and D-E-N-G-U-E. -E, dengue. Mosquitoes also breed in standing water inside coolers and flower pots. We must not let water get collected in our surroundings. If we leave water collecting in our surroundings, then mosquitoes will breed in the water and then they will bite us and then they can carry harmful diseases like mal malaria and dengue. Right? <clears throat> now let us keep reading. Reptiles. Lizards and chameleons are called reptiles. What are reptiles? Lizards, chameleons and also snakes. Snakes are also reptiles. Though they crawl, they are not insects. In fact, they eat insects. Yes, lizards actually clean our homes by eating insects like moths and flies. However, we should keep our food safe from lizards as their bodies are very poisonous. Yes, you have to protect your food and keep it safe from lizards. Otherwise, if we eat the food <clears throat> contaminated by lizards, then we can get very sick. Right? So, that concludes the homework. I would like you to do exercises 33. Uh, uh, sorry, exercises A, B, and C from 33 and 34, right? So thank you for joining me for this lesson. My name is Sir Rafael, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.